Alright, this is Luis Sandoval, FightHype.com, here with Virgil Hunter. Fight Hype in the house. Yes, sir. Big win for you tonight, Virgil. I mean, Andre went down, I believe, in the second. What was your mind? What, what were you thinking at that point when he got caught with that with that straight left? Um, actually, nothing, you know, because it was a flash knockdown. Ooh. I could tell it was a flash knockdown. And uh, when he came back to the corner, he told me the sun had got blinked in his, it got in his eyes. And, you know, it was some sunny, and I had told him, keep it in the middle of the ring. It's sunny in certain spots. Try to avoid it. That's the only thing about the stub, huh? <laughs> if you fight a certain time of day, yeah. you have to be aware of how the sun plays, you know? So, you know, I did want to bring that to his attention, but he was fine. But the main thing is it didn't affect him. Hmm. Like in the past, a knockdown would affect him, and he would kind of fall apart a little mm -hmm. bit. But look, Andre had a, a great camp. Um, his confidence is high, but what I can honestly say that um, he's healthy. He was, people don't really realize how sick he was the first time he fought Ortiz, and that's not to take anything away from Victor, because look, Victor is a warrior. You know, people want to down him about the broken jaw, the Madonna mm -hmm. fight, and all that kind of stuff, you know. But let's think about it. I mean, Madonna had to fight like that yeah. to keep Victor off of him. Jose Cito had to chunk it like that. And, you know, but, but Victor was winning both of those fights. Mm -hmm. If you stop to think about it, he wasn't behind. And he was winning this fight, you know, after the knockdown. And then I did give Berto the third round, but I had him thinking he lost it, you know. But I thought he pulled it back. But it was a great win for him. He's really starting to understand the sport. Hmm. Vir Virgil, when, when you see a guy like Andre get redemption like this, what, what does it mean for him at this point and what does it mean going forward for his career? It has to be a weight off his back because that was the beginning of a whole lot of issues for him. You know, uh, yeah. one, he didn't know what was wrong with him physically. Number two, it cost him a fight with Floyd. Uh, number three, he had another setback after that fight, I believe, a uh, fight after next with Guerrero. So, you know, he was in a dark place at one time. He, he admitted it. And then when we first got together, the uh, Soto Corrales fight where he sustained that injury and he kept him out, he's battled uphill for quite a while now. And to see him put that behind him with an emphatic uh, victory like that, it, it just uh, really warms my heart. You know, I, I really feel um, just great for him. Does this mean he's ready for the big guys, the top guys of welterweight? Danny Garcia was commenting, he was ringside. They, mm -hmm. they mentioned he might fight him. There's Keith Thurman and Sean mm -hmm. Porter going to fight in June. Mm -hmm. Is Andre Berto now in line to, to take on one of those guys and, and, and get a world title again? Mm -hmm. Well, certainly he has to be under consideration. And, um, you know, I, I'll say this, you know, that you got a lot of young talent up there, some very talented welterweights. Uh, particularly the young kids, Keith mm -hmm. Thurman, Sean, uh, Errol Spence, and Danny. But, you know, uh, Berto has retained his speed punch for punch. If he's not the hardest puncher, he's, he's right there. You can't deny that. He really can punch. And um, tonight. <laughs> to have his confidence uh, come up like that, I would say he would be competitive in those fights, you know. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you have to consider him, certainly.